are here to show you guys how to stain and paint. Yes, we're really excited. So on this video, I have a Lazy Susan, and I have the cutting board. So if you have either one of these, you are in the right place. So first things first, you should have your board, stencil. We have stain and paint, which is probably what you got unless you requested otherwise. Yes. A brush, Mod Podge sponges, and a little piece of sandpaper. Okay. Okay. So you might also need um, a baby wipe or a paper mm -hmm. towel, something to put your stain on with. You can use a brush. We like to use a baby wipe. Mm -hmm. The brush just makes it go a little bit um, darker, um, and you use a lot more of it. So we use baby wipe. I like the way it looks. So I know what you're going to use too. I can use the brush so that they can see both ways. You want the, the stain? Yeah. Okay, so I will show you with the brush and the paper towels. So then I will show you with a baby wipe. Okay. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. <laughs> we'll just brush it on. Just like a little bit at a time too. And then you'll just wipe it in. So just mm -hmm. like that. All over. Yep. I'm just gonna grab this stain. So baby wipe, I just literally dip my baby wipe in the stain. And then I have an extra of clean baby wipe right here. So I just rub it on there. First of all, this is so much easier than, as you'll see in a second, mm -hmm. as I go so much faster. I know I should. It's just like a breeze. And then you can always make it darker if it's too light. And then it's easier to wipe off. Like once cream is on there and it's that dark, it's so hard to get off. So if you don't really know your vibe or what you like yet, you should probably do the baby wipe first, and then you can make it darker or change it up as you go. And then just keep going over it to get it all the same color until you saw it. So I like the light. I am going to do my edges real quick though. Okay, so I'm almost finished with the top of the Lazy Susan. A little bit more work than doing it with baby wipe. So you'll want to do your sides also. If you want to do the bottom, you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna let mine dry. Very light. Be really cute. Some more done. Mm, these are pretty good. I'm just gonna suck up through it. I've already committed. If you guys have questions on your projects, you guys can email us at info at shoppavinghome.com. Sorry. So while she does that, I'm going to peel my stencil. Uh, we do have a stencil video. You guys might have already seen it. Um, if you want like more of a detailed instruction, you can pop over that one. Um, but you need to flip it over. There's three layers. Clear, blue, and white. Flip it over so the white's up. Pull the white back. None of this blue should come up with the white. So I just kind of pinch it and peel it. And if the blue does come up, you just want to push it back on with the paper, not the papers. Pinch and peel all the way until your stencil's off. Okay, I'm finished with my base. So I'm going to let it dry just a second. While it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and um, peel my stencil also. Okay. So mine might be dry enough now. It's still like a little bit damp. Um, for video purposes, we'll probably just keep going. But you guys should definitely let it dry completely. Um, the stencils just go on so much easier, so much better, and you're, it'll look so much better at the end if you just wait and are patient. So you can blow dry it if you need to or if you're in a hurry. And if not, just let it stay dry for a bit. We are back. Our projects are dry. Um, we are going to sand them first. Yes. So you should have a piece of sandpaper. It's kind of annoying, but just go with it. Yep. Just a light layer over the whole base. Thank you. 
them off after. Um, I see on my edges just a little bit to show you what you can do, just to distress them a little bit, give them a little bit more flair. Okay. And I didn't. I just did a light sand over my entire base. So crazy how two projects use the same things, but look way different. Okay, so now we're going to stick our stencil on. Okay, so whenever you put your stencil on there, you can set it on there and hover it around. It won't stick until you start pushing on it. Mm -hmm. Now once you get it where you want it, um, we use these little old gift cards, but you guys can use whatever you guys want. You just want something to kind of push it on so there's no bubbles. And if we're going too fast on this part, definitely go back to our simple video and um, watch it. After you stick it on there and you feel like it's stuck pretty good, you're going to take the clear layer and you're going to pull it back. No glue should come up with the clear. So it should just look like this then. If it does pop up, just push it right back down. Once you get that pulled off, podge podge. It's not the white paint, it smells like glue. Yep. <laughs> And then push it on there. So the Mod Podge you do want to dry before you start painting after, um, but you should not blow dry. Your stencil will melt. It will not be good. So just let it air dry. It usually only takes, if you do it light enough like you're supposed to, um, it should only take a minute a or minute, two. Yeah. yeah. Like you should go on clear. Really clear. Really clear. If yep. it's milky or white, you sh you might want to wipe a little bit of it off. Yeah. And then it, once you can touch it and it's not tacky, you are good to paint. Okay, ours are dry. Okay, so we're going to use white paint on both of ours. You'll mm -hmm. use one of your sponges. And you're going to dip your sponge in your paint, and you're just going to tap. So you're going to tap some of your paint off first, and then you're going to tap your sponge up and down thin light coats. Normally, we recommend two or three light layers. Especially if you have a dark background, you'll probably need more than that. So you just cruise along, do the whole thing. I usually let it dry between layers too, um, just because sometimes you just keep spreading the paint around if it's too wet. And if you guys have questions, you guys can email us info at shopkeenreadhome.com. Our first layers are done, so we are going to let it dry just a little bit and we will start our second layer. Okay, my first layer is dry. Second layer, done. I think I'm going to do three layers though. Me too. Okay, we're going to let them dry. Okay, we are going to do our third and last layer. So we pull our stencils off when they are still um, a little bit wet. Um, I don't let them be sopping wet, but also don't like them to be all the way dry. Okay, so you can kind of see it is all covered now. You can't see the base anymore. So we're going to let it dry just like a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pull mine off. Me too. 
So you're just gonna lift up a corner of your stencil and you'll just pull. The stencil will break and tear and that's totally okay. I like to get all the big pieces off first. And then you'll have these little spots here, the inside pieces. You'll need a little tool. We use these pick tools. You can use a toothpick or a safety pin, bobby pin. And we just um, stick the edge of the stencil down and twist. Kind of pops, pops the edges up and then you can take them off. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good, I know. <laughs> I did. I followed all the instructions. <laughs> so if you are going to use this for food purposes, you might want to get some kind of food grade sealer. Um, we just use them as decorative pieces, so um, I wouldn't put anything that I was going to eat directly on it. It's just for looks. Same with this one too. I wouldn't either. So we've even tied a bow up here before and then did a little piece of greenery. It's really cute. So you can definitely make it your own. You can add your own touches to them. Let us know how yep. this helped you. See ya! Bye.